Well, we're joined now by Richard Bergen, who's a Labour spokesman on the city and joins us from uh, Westminster. Thanks very much for being with us. No so, uh, this is quite prudent by the Chancellor, isn't it? Well, the fact is that, again, George Osborne is giving dire predictions uh, in relation to the economy that are, of course, someone else's fault. He talked about uh, a cocktail uh, of threats to the economy, a potent cocktail of threats to the economy. Uh, and the other fact is he's very keen to be going around telling people how much money he saved the taxpayer by postponing his intended sale of 10% uh, of Lloyd's shares in order to distract from the big issue this week about the Chancellor's prudence or lack of it, which is his sweetheart deal with Google, which has lost the taxpayer mm. hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds. Well, well that's, a, that's a very separate issue. I mean, this is, he's talking about turbulent markets, partly because of the situation in China, why not wait until they calm down before launching this? That, that, that's effectively what he's saying. Surely he's right on that. Well, we certainly don't agree with uh, selling off uh, the shares at a loss uh, to the taxpayer, but the shares being below uh, 73 pence in value is nothing new. Uh, they've been below, uh, they've been at 73 pence or below uh, since the end of last year, uh, and they've been going down the value of shares in Lloyds for months and months and months. So the timing of this announcement makes me somewhat suspicious, and I do believe it's about, it is the same issue, it's the issue issue of how much money is going into the public purse mm. and how much money is going to the uh, exchequer that we need to get the deficit down and we need to spend uh, mm. on uh, public services and the truth is Google has only paid so it sounds 3% of tax and George Osborne uh, announces this as to quote in his words a major success and that's something that even David Cameron is distancing himself from. So the truth is, if we're talking about making sure that the public purse doesn't lose out, then this is the same Chancellor who's boasting about saving okay. money with Lloyds. But, but, but just to be clear then, just, just to be absolutely clear, I mean, if you were in government right now and uh, you had to take this decision, you would sell now, would you, on, 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 the, on, the, on the Lloyds issue? You'd well, sell what now. I, what, I, what I just said and I was clear is that Labour and no one, Labour doesn't agree and no one agrees with selling off uh, these shares are lost to the taxpayer. But if George Osborne was so concerned about that, why did he sell off RBS shares at a major loss to the taxpayer too? So there is some real inconsistency here. All right, well, uh, we'll have to leave it there, but thanks very much for being with us. That's Richard Bergen, their Labour spokesman on the city. Thank you very much for being with us.